guys and welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome if you're new here. Um, so today I kind of wanted to make a, just a quick video about things that I wish I knew before I began TTCing. I just, I've been on the road of trying to conceive for a year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half. And there are just so many things that I just didn't know or was just oblivious to before trying to conceive. So I thought I did. I thought I could just make this video for you guys to kind of give you the inside scoop and save you some time and maybe make your TTC process a little bit faster. There is just so much to know and information when it comes to TTC. Um, so I just want to like be a resource here for you guys and tell you the things that I had to find out the slow and the hard way and just give you all the information that I can to help you guys out. So when we began trying to conceive, I stopped taking birth control and the, honestly this is the most naive thing to think but I think a lot of people think it is, oh I'm done taking birth control, I'm gonna get pregnant. <laughs> and that is absolutely not the case for so many people. Some people it is and I'm envious of you, that is so awesome. But for a lot of people, myself included, I was on hormonal birth control from the age of 15 to, well, how old was I, 24? I had just turned 24, so nine years straight of taking hormonal birth control. So I honestly, when I got off birth control, I had no idea what my body or cycles were gonna be like. And honestly, I didn't even know how to really how to really track it. I think hormonal birth control kind of spoiled me in thinking that, okay, I know I'm getting my period for these days out of the month and it's over and I don't have anything else to worry about. Sorry if you can hear the guy on the lawnmower across the street. Once I got over the being naive of, I'm gonna get pregnant so fast and so easy, I realized I needed to start tracking my cycles. Um, otherwise, how was I to know when we were supposed to be like doing the baby dance or when the period's coming? Yada yada yada. So the first thing I did was I downloaded an app to help me with that. So I've used a couple different apps for this. I've used Clue and then the most recent one I've been using is Ovia. So I highly recommend if you're not tracking your cycles already, there are so many free apps out there that can help you to track and they're so so helpful. I really really love Ovia and this is not a sponsored video, all of these opinions are like my own and these are what I use. Ovia has just been so helpful in the sense that there's a lot of data you can put into the app. So if you're not already tracking your cycles, definitely start tracking your cycles. Another thing that's gonna be really helpful for you when you start trying to conceive are um, ovulation tests. So I didn't start using ovulation tests until probably like nine or 10 months into our TTC process because I didn't really understand them. And I know that might sound, na might sound naive. This whole video is probably gonna make me sound naive for the things I didn't know. Um, but I know other people out there, I can't be the only one, there's gotta be other people out there that didn't know these certain things. So first things first, you're gonna wanna get some ovulation tests. So I've linked in the description for you guys the cheapy tests that I use. Um, it comes with a pack of 50 ovulation tests and I think like 20, 20 to 25 pregnancy tests. I get them on Amazon, they're so, so, so cheap. So if you're interested in starting to track ovulation with tests, I've linked those down below for you guys, but um, the clear blue digitals, uh, those can get really expensive. So I keep one box of those on hand, and again, they're cheaper on Amazon, so I'm linking everything I mentioned in this video in the description. So if you wanna just like pop down there and purchase it from Amazon and go, um, I highly recommend that. Cheapy ovulation tests, one pack of clear blue digitals, and the reason I keep a, clear, a pack of clear blue digitals around are if I take a cheapy test and it's starting to look like we're getting close to ovulation, I will start taking the clear blue. Highly suggest getting some cheap ovulation tests, some, ch um, some cheap pregnancy tests to have around, and then um, a pack of clear blue digitals. Those are my favorite. There are tons of ovulation tests out there, but these are just the ones that I prefer. So if you're anything like I was and struggle with like infertility and amenorrhea, which is the absence of a period, um, 
Basically, when I got off birth control for four months, I didn't get a period again. So I went to my doctor and, sorry if you can see my dog. Went to my doctor, we had discussions about ways to kind of help and I've gone like the prescription route and right now I'm just going the natural supplement route. A few of my favorites are maca root, Vitex, um, baby aspirin. Yeah, those are like the three supplements that I take on a daily basis to kind of naturally improve my fertility. I actually wrote a blog post on all of this, so if you want to know the actual benefits of each of these um, natural herbs supplements, I will leave that blog post in the description as well as links to go purchase these supplements. Um, so you can get started taking them if you're interested. And there are tons and tons and tons of other different kinds of natural supplements to take. These are just the ones that I'm taking and I feel like are having a good effect on my hormones. So, you know, listen to your body, listen to your doctor. But um, yeah, if any of these suggestions help you, I, I mean, that's awesome. And then one of the final things I wanna really stress when you begin TTC and you kind of head down this road um, is staying relaxed. So for me, this whole process got really stressful when I had to start taking Clomid and then when I had a miscarriage and then started taking Primera and had another miscarriage. This gets really stressful, really, really stressful. So a way that I actually really help, like cope with that is, um, this is gonna sound so silly, is aromatherapy. So I usually have some essential oils going in my house. Um, I have lavender, a couple other ones, uh, peppermint, tea tree oil. Yeah, and then I just have a diffuser diffusing the smells around my house just so it's a very relaxed atmosphere. I try to decrease the stress in any way. I, I mean, it's, it's a baby step, but I highly recommend diffusing some essential oils in your home. Anyways, yeah, so I have linked down in the description um, a link to an essential oil diffuser, a couple of my favorite essential oils, so check those out if you're interested. Well, that's kind of just a couple tips I have for you guys. So just to recap, start tracking your cycles with an app or however you want to start tracking them. Get some tools to help you out, ovulation tests, that you don't, they don't have to be expensive, get the cheap ones. Um, get some cheap pregnancy tests. Um, Get some supplements to kind of naturally boost your fertility and stay relaxed. Those are my four tips that I wish I would have known before I started TTCing and that I continue to do and use while TTCing. Um, if you guys want more videos about some tips I have for TTC, if you want like a more in-depth look, let me know. Those of you that are trying to conceive, I wish you nothing but love and baby dust and I've got my fingers crossed for you that this is going to be your moment and your time to finally get it. Um, yeah, let me know some of your tips, things you kind of wish you knew before you started trying to conceive. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.